the vlog? I don't know. Probably wrong. But let's sit down one on one. We talked about chores and how we need help, how we're trying different stuff. But before we shot that video, we've been doing something, just one change that's really, 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 really made a difference in our lives. I started it and then Naeli jumped on, she started it. She's like, man, this is crazy. We're gonna share with y'all one tip and it's not complicated. And usually the stuff that works is not complicated, it's simple. But if you take the substance of what we're saying, and not necessarily do it exactly what we do, it will help you reach your goals, get everything done throughout the day, even being busy. And the goals that you set out for, when you look back and be like, you accomplished that, you check it off, check it off, check it off, check it off. Accomplishing, you're reaching your goals, then you want to stay tuned. First, gotta get Russ to get a haircut. Cutty, cutty. It's raining like crazy, huh? Get this haircut. Okay, Russ. Yeah. Give Russ a little line up. Eli's at home with mommy. He, he, he already got his haircut. You gonna get a haircut, okay? You say what? Eli is at home with mommy. We'll see him in like 20 minutes, all right? What are you doing? All right, we see y'all once we get to the shop. Hopefully it's not super crowded, but it's Saturday, so I try to usually go early, but he don't do too good. These windshield, we need some new windshield wipers, man. It's crazy. that we've been doing the hack is waking up early we've been waking up early early in the morning 5 5 30 and starting our day it has made a drastic like difference just common knowledge like if you get up early you're going to extend your day if you extend if you can extend your hours in the day by waking up early and me and Alec waking up early just getting a workout in and doing whatever we have to do, uh, preparing for, like she prepares for dinner or getting stuff set out for the next morning. Just that jump start. And it doesn't seem like a big difference, um, but it is. It's like. Can I have one? Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Sorry. The last month I've been waking up at five o'clock. Um, Doug's been doing it for a while, I think. Um, I just started this last month because I realized that unless I wake up really early in the morning, things just aren't going to get done. So the most important thing like to get started for me was working out. So I knew like I don't really have the energy or the time to work out after work. So it's been a hundred times easier like waking up super early even though it's really dark and cold just running or working out and then I go to work for eight ten hours come home I get to cook and spend time with the kids so it's really been working out um I'm only one month in but I think even if it doesn't get easier it's just for consistency purposes I think I'll get back to that makes sense, which was just working out at least five times a week, and it just makes me feel much better.
All right, so now you guys know what we've been doing for the last month, month and a half, and it's drastically improved our lives. It's not about early per se, you don't have to get up early. It's just about living with intention. So being intentional with your time, that's what it's really about. So you can get up five, six, seven, five just works for us. But if you live with intent, you're gonna be in a way better place situation, be able to hit your goals, get things done. Just be intentional about everything. Be intentional about your health, your family, your spiritual life, everything. Just be intentional. And that's when you're gonna see the difference. And for us, it started with being intentional with our time, getting up earlier so we can get more things throughout the day and get that jump start throughout the day. Thank you. That's what it's really all about. And we're not perfect. We don't do it every single day. Like there's some nice mornings where we get up and we're like, man, the kids are up too late. We didn't get good sleep. And this is what you do. If you do want to get up early, there's a couple things you, you need to do that we've been doing. Cut off the TV, all right? Prepare for the next morning, the night before. If you have trouble falling asleep, get a book. <laughs> it works, I don't know why it works, but you read a book, read your favorite book, and you'll go to sleep like that. And the third thing is make sure you're not eating too late, and you know, watch what you're consuming late at night because if you're consuming caffeine or any type of sugar, it's gonna keep you up uh, at night and you're not gonna get to get up early. So we try to go to bed, set everything off at least by 10, 30, 11. Uh, I found if there's anything after that, like 11.30, no. it's gonna be hard to get up. But it is about being intentional. Like I said, I keep saying it because it's so true. Yeah. If you haven't joined the movement, God, family over everything we're trying to put out here, make sure you join the movement. God, family over everything, we out.